What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. I got my honey sauce with me. So, um, yeah, my good sis voice posted a video. Let's get into it. When it comes to that, now let's talk about Holly Bailey because people were saying that she looked pregnant when she attended the Beyonce concert. Well, Holly recently posted these pictures on IG showing that she's not pregnant yet. Also, DDG reveals that he might be coming back to YouTube even though he said that he was going to take a break and focus on his music. According to him, he said he's getting bored waiting because he can't drop music just like he dropped YouTube every day. He also reveals that he's done with Twitch for good. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Now let's talk about Lee Clarence's sister. He need to quit quitting YouTube and just get that coin. Quit playing. Her fiance Drea was being called out by her ex for still contacting her allegedly while still in a relationship with Lee. Now, Lee did respond. She said, Not even the universe could keep us from crossing paths. What's meant to be will always be. Can't wait to marry you. That's period. Period that on that y'all leave y'all comments down below when it comes to that now let's talk about clarence and my the guy because they just dropped a video together letting the world know that they squashed the beef well ma did answer some extra questions that people had here's what he had to say how do you feel since hashing things out with c um it's good to have my friend back um other than that is it life Life is, is moving. We we moving on a daily basis. You feel me? We we trying to go up. I'm working harder than ever. Uh yeah, we it just everything feels it feels uh like old times back to how it used to be. Huh. Like you you feel me just back to not even just with just the friend relationship, but like having C uh back in my life, of course, is like a plus. Like I'm happy to have my friend back. But also just with like getting off probation right. and just all this time, it just right. seems like, you know, all all the things I've been dealing with for the last year just to get to this point right here is like it seems like it's a new path or it feels like a new beginning. So it 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 feels hey, good. Do you agree? That's a blessing. Like real shit, cause boy. I've gone through some things and the happiest shit in the world was to get up out of that. <laughs> what you think? Uh, I think it's awesome. I mean, they're grown. I feel like they should have done that a long time ago. But just like he said, he had a, you know, that's his journey. So, you know, I think that now they're able to be men and sit down and talk and rekindle and pick up where they left out. It's it's great that they can pick up where they left off and it feels like old times and it doesn't feel like you trying, you know, trying again to get to know your friend again. So that's always a plus. For sure, shiggity. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> oh, don't you fuck. We would see that it's not about the dream and it's about the bag. Uh, mm. Like partly, not 100%, not at all. Um, Partly, definitely on... If you do certain things while chasing your dream, you can make the process of chasing your dream um, definitely easier. So I do agree, like making sure to upload on YouTube and staying on point with that and, and just doing all those little things in the detail definitely allow me to be happier while chasing my dream in terms of just paying bills and not dealing with the stress of that and the stress of a dream, stress of life and the stress of a dream. So I definitely do agree with uh, that part, but I don't agree that like, I'm going to be the happiest person with just the bag. Like I, t I feel like I'm the best rapper in the world. Like <laughs> That's how I'm always going to feel like that's what's in, that's what's pumping through my blood in my veins. So it's like, yeah, give me a hundred million dollars tomorrow. Drake, watch out because I'm taking 50 million to come for your neck. Hey. <laughs> Uh-uh, get the fuck out. You the one who got us sick in the first place. There you are. Upgrade. Oh, okay. We'll talk about it in a second. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Days will get better. Yes. 
Like, you get what I'm saying? It sounds crazy, but that's just me as a person. I think people definitely misinterpret Clarence, especially when he was talking about the bag. Clarence Point remind me of Jamie Foxx when Jamie Foxx first came into Hollywood. When Jamie first started out, his passion was singing and he dropped the album and it flopped. So then he started doing acting, which I think was his calling. And he made tons of money, became very successful in it, but he did the acting first, grew his career, his portfolio in acting, and then he did his passion and his passion took off with his acting. So sometimes you gotta do what you don't wanna do first to get to where you gotta go. And I that's think that's what Clarence That's is. exactly what he's saying. No, how about, let me put it in layman's terms. You gotta go to work. Use what you got to get what you want. So YouTube is allowing you to get the bag. You gotta go to work. This is work. Go to work, get off, handle your dream. Yeah. That's it. Same. But I'm gonna just leave that right there. But let's talk about Ty because she definitely broke the internet yesterday for her birthday. Period, sis. Happy birthday again to you. Do your thing. It's a wrap. I just ended Leo season. Y'all go drop them, them, the lion emojis and the Leo, the, the Leo symbol in my comments on my recent post. I just ended Leo season. It, mm. I just walk with the. What you gonna do after that? I don't know. What you like? What I can't... swim with the sharks? I can't do neither one. You really do after that. I what can, what can you do after that? I just ended Leo season. Sorry. Not sorry. My fear would be on a whole nother level. Sorry. Okay. It's a wrap. It's over. I done ended it. It's done. It's done. We're gonna y'all gonna have to try again next year. All the other Leos that's popping shit. Okay. Y'all gonna have to try again going next too year. Far. Right. Okay, hey, man, say man. It's a wrap. Like we already cocky, but damn bitch, you gotta go against us too. Right. I'm just like God. Walk with them, yeah, okay. Do you okay? I want a penguin, I prefer a penguin. I don't want either one of them. Fuck I off. ain't walking with no line or no lioness, I ain't doing it. Mm -mm. Fuck all that. <laughs> this big Leo shit. No, she's I, I shut it down. <laughs> Girl, you ain't rolling no motherfucking line. Shut up, beep. You ain't rolling no stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing. But I got more content coming from Africa. I just had to go ahead and end the Leo season with my lion walk. So um, y'all stay tuned for the most. I have a probably about Leo a couple shit. more content pictures that I did. Some subtle shit. That was the finale. Ooh, so bug that was on me. Listen, just because y'all don't take, just because y'all Gemini's, Pisces, and all these other signs just because y'all don't take y'all birthday serious they don't got nothing to do with us they don't got nothing to do with leo okay. oh, now you us. including us okay now, you don't care now about your birthday your they don't got nothing to do with us okay because we're gonna step every time for our birthday i don't give a i'm 50 i'm gonna still be popping shit they're like this old ass girl don't still have now somewhere still popping shit she thought some girl don't break no gemini's it is we ate down too <laughs> gemini's ain't this shit None. So y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. <clears throat> I'm happy that um, Clarence and Mob was men and handled that shit like men. I love it. Sure. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Bye.